here to Valrico. I'm a week early, so Forgotten Angels. So the Forgotten Angels event. I might have to wait for a minute on that. Doesn't happen for another week, but I'm here. So there's a reason for it. Um, I fish a lot. If you guys aren't following my fishing channel yet, it's linked below. But I'm down here actually about fishing. I dropped it again. But this is the digs that David and Cindy put me up at for the night. Last night I got eaten up by the bugs and there was a little bit of, uh, well, it was warm and there was a lot of mosquitoes. So I kind of got eaten up. So I'm kind of glad that I'll be able to set up in here. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Cindy. I appreciate this. This is the shade tree cabin. So it's a Coast Guard class that you have to take if you want to be a charter. So I'm doing that so that I can, uh, you know, basically take people out and they can pay me for it and uh, that's what I'm doing this week while I'm here and then this weekend I have to head back up to Panhead Ross's he's having his 51st Panhead party and that's where a bunch of guys bring some old panheads and shovel heads and stuff and they show up and they camp for the weekend I'm invited to that I would not miss that for the world so I'm gonna head back up there everybody who chose to send me a donation through PayPal or Patreon a special thank you to you guys and that's linked below give nothing give as much as you want so thank you forgotten angels has been helping young men who are aging out of the foster care system to uh, get a job get a vehicle and kind of get a leg up uh, the first chance that they've had in their life is usually with forgotten angels so reach out to them if you'd like to support them uh, no matter how small the help is they appreciate all of it and if nothing else, your presence is enough. Come on down, support one of the events. They do two a year, one in the spring, one in the fall. I hope I see you there. Thank you. dogs in the tent. New rule. He broke his tibia, he broke three ribs, and he punctured a lung. When he was on the ground, the cops came up and they said, who are all these people? Because so many people came up there. The first words out of his mouth were, that's my family. That's what I want everyone to feel. But also have a good time and have some beers. Come on. I got a lot of love in my heart. Oh my gosh, I love you too. And here's David with the weather. <laughs> Thank you for coming out. Can I get a round of applause for you guys? Oh, there, I have an asshole neighbor who calls the cops on us, so can we get a little louder, please? Yeah. For the first time, let me introduce you guys to my wife, Cindy. things to say and then we get down we start drinking and eating and partying and talking and loving and whatever else again. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's early. It's Friday. Something that seems to be common with these bike parties is they get a little wild. I'm actually happy to say that this is not one of those events. It's actually pretty chill, especially for a Wednesday and Thursday. Slow start to a big weekend. Coffee. Let's go see about some coffee. So it's Friday and it's still early enough. <laughs> Things haven't gotten weird just yet. I'm expecting today to be a major roll-in day. Most folks will get here today. Um, a lot of personalities are of course here. Um, we do like to come in early because you get to capture the quiet time before the well, before it gets noisy. So we get to really visit with our friends a little bit more effectively if we come early. So we like to do that. It's still way early, so most people aren't even up and moving. But uh, you know, the faithful few coffee drinkers, of course, we're up early. But there's always new bikes arriving. Coffee's cold. I think I'm gonna wait for Saddle Tramp and the misses to make what they make. It's better anyways. They've been feeding me, so thank you. The misses <laughs> and Saddle Tramp. Thank you for uh, thank you for all the breakfast. Everybody lives for something different at camp. Sometimes it's the bikes, sometimes it's the women. For me, it's probably music first, but a close second. Breakfast. More coffee. And when it's this, and there's another morning, more than it was last night. And we're the only people in the entire campsite that's got breakfast going. But we had a good hamburgers and hot dogs happening yesterday afternoon, and the word got around, and this place turned into a soup kitchen. Well, you Joe. The sticker of Harley Davidson born and How's it going? Good. Good. Last night we sat around the campfire and uh, played a few I, I, tunes. I, could tell, I guarantee you. And I was thinking if you were up for it, you might come like sit tonight. And, and okay. And just pass it around and that, that, play one or two tunes. Harley sure, man. Play best for one, one another. Uh, okay. okay. It's going to be over in the corner over at the fireplace. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. And I'll swing by there and torture you guys for a minute. Like and uh, I'll link Joe down below. Most of you know him, but uh, uh, he does some traveling. A little bit. A dirty motorcycle vagabond, on the road, living on a motorcycle, four years. Uh, just got back from Vietnam. Uh, traveled through most of Mexico, Latin America. So if, that, if you're interested in that kind of thing, check it out. So I'm done with breakfast and coffee, and there's a gentleman back here kind of following me. I've gotten into the tradition now of letting folks put their sticker on my guitar case, so he's coming down to do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick it right here, man. Thank you. Very good. Yeah, it looks good, man. I cherish the stickers on my case, and uh, you know, the team is growing. Yeah, dude. You got everybody, man. So there's a ride we're not going on. We're gonna stay right here. Awesome. Okay. I'm oh, good. Just slipped in the ground. Too many at once. Sometimes you don't take that question. We've already had a bagel now. Roll. Hey, it's important. Take my dog. What do we do here as people who ride bikes? We choose our family. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And, this is, and this is the family that everybody from Forgotten Angels is getting inducted to, inducted to as well. Just as all of you, and I know there's a lot of lost souls out there. There's a lot of people here who came here because they didn't have nothing else. There's people who here who've never traveled farther than this in their life. There's people here who've <coughs> taken risks, spent money, gone through hell and high water, freezing temperatures, to be here right now, to be with their family. And I, and I mean that. That's, I'm not blowing smoke right now. I absolutely mean that. It warms my heart.
Good morning guys. So at some point last night, well the day ended. I don't know if they had any portal stick. So uh, uh, if you get the chance, think around if you ever Oh yeah, it's oh, great. It's, it's only about two hundred miles from you. Wouldn't What's that? Yeah. Like, to the swamp thing. Yeah. You just pull off the side of the road, you won't see a gator. In bacon grease, nonetheless. Is that sacrilegious? So I went one and done on the keg roll. <laughs> so it looks like we're gonna have a small jam tonight. We're just gonna kind of hang out with some chairs and just uh, pass the guitar around kind of thing and a couple of us who play. It's gonna share each other's songs. So I'm gonna bring you along for that. <laughs> I don't know what to expect, but it sounds good. He's told me I've seen the video, but go out and go. Oh yeah. Oh, it's funny. Because you bumped into each other at a gas station, right? Yeah. And you were kind of talking and slowly there as well that you were both going to the same place. Yeah. Yeah. The Just a boy in a man's world, age of 17. Sign away the next four years and what I thought from my dream. Lessons came quick, hit like bricks. Meanwhile, I got caught up with some important chick. There I met a family from the other side of the world. Her old man said, boy, you ain't no match for my girl. He seemed to hate everything about America. Even me. Today is Sunday. Today most of us will head back to where we call home. For me, I'll go about two hours north, officially starting my three to four day trek back to Pennsylvania. I'm not rushed or pressured to get moving. There's no storm or adverse situation that's forcing me to roll. Nothing is pushing me. What drives me north is what always does love my children I miss my kids this event draws us back again and again for the same reason love not chest bumping superficial or self-serving brotherhood but love love when it's real has a way of calling to us we answer in the like fashion patiently and faithfully the challenge is posed only to love one another. Here, at Forgotten Angels, we do. I'll see you in October. Much love. Much respect.